What's always funny is when you go to shake somebody's hand after a haircut, and then they turn the opposite way, and you get left hanging. But I'll see it happen, so I'll end up going over and shaking Ryan's hand just to yeah, finish it. Because it happens to us once in a while. So I mean, we got each other's back. I went to Kyung Lee High School. I graduated in class of 2001. And after that, I went to hair school in Willimannock. It was called the Willimannock Institute of Hairdressing and Cosmetology. I graduated that, got my license. Graduated high school and then uh, barbering school. See, I've known Ryan for a long time. We went to high school together, so I was a grade below him. So I was cutting hair, I was cutting all my friends' hair, then he was cutting all his friends' hair. Then afterwards, you know, we linked up. And uh, I saw him at the gym. I just finished hair school and he was working for Gary, the guy who also works for us. And he told me he could get me a job there. And within two weeks, he got me the job. We linked up at the same place, and uh, from there, that was kind of like the start of our partnership in business. We worked together for two years, then we ended up doing our own thing, opened up a shop in Danielson for seven years, and came here, been here for three years. 10 years strong together, doing our thing. My dream job as a kid was to be like my dad. Just do whatever my dad was doing. My dad was, he owned his restaurant, he was a cook, so I wanna do it like whatever my dad was doing. He was like my idol, so I would say business owner. So I kinda did it my own way, but being a barber. The restaurant business wasn't really for me, so I, I went my own way, just being self-made. I just wanted to you know, be successful, have money, be able to enjoy life. You know, every, every kid wants to be a firefighter, a, uh, you know, that kind of stuff, but just wanna be happy, I guess. I didn't really imagine it. I, uh, I more or less just enjoyed cutting hair just for the art of it, you know, trying to get better and stuff like that. My biggest inspiration was my parents. They told me, follow your dreams. And it was cutting hair, so I kept doing it. I got good at it, went to school, practice, 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 got my license. Been doing it for 10 years, hopefully doing it for the rest of my life. And I love my job. I'd say my biggest supporter in uh, pursuing career in barbering would be my grandmother because she, she really pushed me. I never really considered it a, a career option until late in my senior year of high school and she was the one that kind of influenced that. She, you know, she just gave me confidence in it that, you know, I was talented because she was like one of the first people that I used to cut. I used to cut her hair. I didn't even use a comb. I would just pull up hair with my hands. I'd give her a haircut. But then, you know, as I got better, I would, I would give her, I'd take care of her and, you know, I still give her free haircuts to this day. She definitely influenced me. I love her. So uh, moving locations was something that we chose to do because Danielson was a sm you know the building was smaller and uh, you know the idea the name of the game is to just kind of fill up the shop with as many chairs as you can because you get rent off of them and uh, what well, we ended up finding this place. We found Brooklyn. It's a nice town, better location. You know. More, you can see us more because in downtown we were like in a corner, like on a one-way street. We're over here, you can find us on Route 6. So yeah. that caught a lot of people's attention. So business picked up a lot more and we're doing good. Everybody's got their own weaknesses, but this is a cash business, so there's no retirement. No. There's no uh, taxes taken out. There's no 401k, social security. I mean, so you have to be very good and conscious of managing your money. If not, then... You gotta be a good saver in this business because yeah. You get hurt, you don't get money, you know, for not working, you know? We're, we gotta be here to work, get so money. No paid vacations. Nothing, nothing like that. But then again, the plus side would be it's cash, but I'd say you just have to be organized and stay on top of things. That's the way to be. Yeah. You got a good thing going, you don't wanna break the chain, just keep going and giving out good haircuts and we'll be doing this till we're at least 100, we hope, you know? Yeah. Value my clients. Yeah. Loyal clients. My business partner, yeah, I mean, absolutely. because we work well together and, you know, that's so important to have a good relationship with, you know, the people you work with and your clients. Absolutely. And I value up our hands. Absolutely. These things work Sleep good with, for us. <laughs> Sleep with glass cases yeah, on absolutely. them. Absolutely. Favorite part of the job is just making people look good, feel good. And I think, like, the chemistry of... Because you, you think about it, you're watching, no, we're not watching TV, <laughs> but I mean, you have a good vibe going, you have music going, your clients end up becoming like family and friends to you, we're like family, 
you know, we joke, we have fun. So it's it's a good gig. It, it's fun, you know. You, you try to make the most of it. It's more than a haircut. It's just getting to know people's the plus. I think it's an experience. It's an experience. <laughs> One time, actually, a uh, a guy's mother came in to pay for a haircut. Oh. She's like, hey, you know, I'm paying for this for Dave. He'll be in like an hour. So when he came in, I was like, hey, your mother came in and paid for your haircut. And he's like, oh, that was my wife. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I'm sorry, you know. And then I just kept going on with it, apologizing, and he's like, bro, just drop yeah, it. Yeah, the guy didn't want to hear anymore. Yeah. It was, that was the end of that one. <laughs> that was bad. All right, so basically, Angie and I, we're just here doing something else with the uh, little uh, documentary. But uh, we just wanted to say thank you to all of our loyal clients. We appreciate you guys the most. Over the years, you guys have followed us different locations from Putnam to Moose Up to Danielson to Brooklyn. And without you guys, you know, we wouldn't even be here. So, you know, we just want to keep giving you guys good haircuts and entertaining you and taking care of you, you know? Thank you so much, guys. We appreciate it. You guys are the best.